Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? From here, you are finding the value of n, and we can write this as the same thing as 111 raised to the power 3 plus. We, here, we can write 666 as 111 times 6, then raised to the power 3, also plus. Here, we can write 888 as 111 times 8. Then raised to the power 3, then equals to n raised to the power 3. Then from here, this power will affect these two numbers. And this can be written again as 111 raised to the power 3 plus here we have 111 raised to the power 3 times 6 raised to the power 3 plus here as well 111 raised to the power 3 times 8 raised to the power 3 equals to n raised to the power 3. Then from here, we can see we have 111 raised to the power 3, that is 111 cube common. So let's take it out, then we have 111 raised to the power 3 out, then here we are left with 1, then plus here we are left with 6 raised to the power 3, then plus here we are left with 8 raised to the power 3, then equals to n raised to the power 3. Then from here, we can find what we have inside here. And uh, this becomes 111 raised to the power 3 to bracket 1 plus 6 raised to the power 3 means 6 times 6 times 6. And that will give us 216 plus 8 raised to the power 3 means 8 times 8 times 8. That will give us 512. Then equals to n raised to the power 3. Then from here, we can add what we have here up. So this becomes 111 raised to the power 3. Then multiply by 729. So addition of these three numbers, 1 plus 716 plus 512, that gives us 729. Then equals to n raised to the power 3. Then we can also express 729 to a power of 3 like this. And that's 9 raised to the power 3. We have 111 cube times 9 raised to the power 3. Equals to n raised to the power 3. 9 times 9 times 9, that's 729. Then we can bring this together again, and this will be 111 times 9 or raised to the power 3 will be equals to n raised to the power 3. And this will become 999. So we have 999 raised to the power 3 equals to n raised to the power 3. Now we can remove this power of 3. And uh, it means we take the cube roots on both sides so that the power cancel the cube roots. Same thing here. And here we can see n now is equal to 999. And here we have the value of n in this uh, problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next class. Bye for now.